Hey guys, how you doing? So I'm um, actually back for a video, so I haven't done one these in a long time. Basically because I've been having some personal wear problems at home, and also there's never as much money, but I did actually manage to get one of these. So, at first, they were really quite hard to get. This is the Charizard Sword and Shield Ralphemian Collection. It's probably the uh, most sought after uh, collection box like, of this year. It has actually been reprinted quite a lot, so it is quite vastly uh, available, so you should actually we'll get one now so don't go on ebay and play like over the odds for one you should just look on anything like magic my house or chaos cards and then you should be able to get one for around 120 pounds if you're uh, in america it's about 200 dollars like something like that depending on uh, where you're getting from might be a little bit cheaper but that's kind of the going rate to so make sure you don't pay like over the odds for them because they have been printed quite a lot and you should be able to get one uh pretty much any uh shop that you normally buy your pokemon cards from anyway we're going to open up this and we're going to see what's in it. So before we do that as well, I am going to be giving away all of the codes in this. That's the, the codes for the, the promo cards that are included in, in this set. As well as all the uh, codes from the packs that are in the uh, set as well. So if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. I'm going to try and do more content on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah we're going to try and do at least one video a week that's going to be the aim anyways and we'll see how that goes in if that goes well maybe we might increase that to two but we'll see what happens so basically this is the box so it looks like it's a little bit loose but what you do is i think it's a magnet yep it's a magnet so it's the same as like the, the other sword and shield boxes that you've had and try and get this in the frame so it's a really nice looking uh, graphic around the front of it there it is very well packed in this so we're going to turn it around i have to probably move the uh, camera because this is quite a big big box we're going to have a look at this here so you actually get like, quite a few uh, nice little uh, things there that's actually a map which i'm going to show you in a second so let's just get some of this out onto the uh, table so back in a second i'm just going to unpack this box so we'll start off with this is actually the box that you get so you get three little uh, packs there you get a nice gold graphic on the front of it and then that map was in front of it like there which we're going to see in a second you get like all this nice Looking bits. This is actually magnetic as well, so you can like, fold it over the top and it'll clip in like just like that. And it's a really nice looking box to uh, store your Pokemon cards in afterwards. Alright, so you get this mat, so this is just what was in the front of it, which was in that gap which you saw before. So we're going to open up this, it's just uh, try not to break the box. Yeah, so just slide it from the side there. And then it should slide straight out. There we go. And just undo this. Ooh. This is a really nice looking game mat actually, it's fun, absolutely fantastic, you've got the Vmax Charizard Different bits on the bottom of it as well, you've got him doing his, probably his main attack I'd say It's a normal full size game mat, so probably I'll be using it at some point, it's very nice And then, after the nice stuff to you, you get A packet of promo cards, so you get three Charizard cards, I believe. All of you need artworks, all exclusive to this box. Only we get these Charizard artworks just by buying one of these. One of these Litrina boxes. Now, I've heard that some of the centering on some of these has been bad. Uh, which this one looks actually quite good. Looks a little bit top heavy at the top, if you'd see there. It's a very thin layer of silver at the bottom, quite a thick one at the top, so that is quite off center of a little bit, unfortunately for that one. Uh, and then you have the same artwork that's on the map pretty much. This one this center is a little bit better, but it's probably right to the left, it's probably thicker on this side than it is on that side, so again, not perfect center. But not too bad on, compared to some of the ones I've seen. This one is actually a lot better, this is probably the best. Uh, card out with the free as well the center on this one is I'd say it's good I'd say it's about at least a 9.5 perhaps a 10 is a really good center maybe let's have a look at the back now nah, it's a little bit thicker on the back compared to the front so it probably wouldn't get a 10 for the center is it but it's actually a fantastic card this is like really nice looking artwork but because like obviously these products have been really overprinted these promo cards are going to be really easy to get so they're not going to be really worth that much I wouldn't think anyways anyways that is the code for the free promos I've just showed you there 
I'm not sure what else you get of that of that coin. I know you get you might get the coin as well. You do get a couple of uh, metal uh, coins. That's upside down. So that's like that. So you get the metal Charizard coin. You also get the the dice as well as the plastic uh, V star as well. Now one of the good stuff. You also get a so you also get. The metal poison and uh, burnt, and also the cod sleeves. These aren't the good stuff. So you actually get an absolute ton of packs. You get all these packs here. So I think it's about sixteen packs all together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, so sixteen packs of various different um, releases. So, you get, so we're going to start off with uh, Lost Origin, and we'll see what we can get. So there's uh, quite a few different uh, cards in these, in these sets that are quite sought after. I'm not actually 100% sure what's in the set, so we're just going to open them up, and we're going to find out if we get anything good. So only 3, 4 as usual. Starting off with a Fighting Energy. Got Wind Up Arm. Got a Licky Licky Jinx. Snova, Bronzo, Gumi, Binnacle, ooh, Parasect, I think that's a hit because you get, and another Parasect, so you get, so this is the uh, the reverse, but it's like a full art sort of character one, so that's actually a nice little hit on there, I'll have the price of these up on there on the screen for you, I've got no idea how much they are, I'm not 100% sure if they're worth anything, but it'll probably be at least a pound or two. That's a nice little start anyways. I have actually had the uh, the Pokemon Advent Calendar as well, which, you, which I'll uh, pick, put a picture of that up uh, on you as well. And uh, I was going to make a couple of videos on that, but to be honest, I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I've not had any hits on that whatsoever. It's all been uh, just just the promos that you're guaranteed, and then the like, regular airs. It's been an all right. Ooh, that's like that. I like a Marowak card. That's a really nice one. Like right back on that. Silicone. Close Experiment, Sudowoodo, Fantamp, Gligar, Squivert, Mediate, Reverse Slugma, and it's a regular Air Dugan. Right, next one you got Astral Line, so now I'm pretty sure there's a Matchamp uh, card in this one that I haven't been able to get yet. I haven't actually been buying that much for the last few sets. Because if I had, you would have, uh, you would have seen the content, so some of these like, newer sets I've not actually got that many cards from it. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more from the newer sets that get released next year. Jeff Bloom, Grant, Phil of Swine, Rowlet, Quill of Fish, Asha Watt, Poofoot, I've got a Ponyard, a Reverse Cypher, and a Rind of a regular Rare. Right, Astro Alliance again. Oh, we've got one more for this one. If you do manage to get any of these codes if you are quick because you do have to get be on the, the the video pretty much as soon as it goes live because otherwise you've got no chance of really getting them because there are people are quick and they do get them very fast so you've got to be quick as well by inputting them as fast as possible you can i do try to cover up the qr code so people can't like snipe them oh no i like character card there got a card of all reggie rock but uh sometimes it does actually sneak through because there is like bots that people set up to just basically pick up the cords as much as they can and they actually then gather up as many packs as they can on their accounts and they actually end up selling them but I'm, uh, I'm not actually sure if you can do that anymore because I'm pretty sure on the new one that you can't actually do any trading market they've got like a new system so you can't uh, you can't trade you just use like your, uh, your, your, your what you call it like your duplicates and then you just tra transfer them into coins so I will be making a video on on the, uh, the new live game uh, to explain everything that, uh, that goes on, so you might actually be able to get these codes a lot easier now that uh, since that's changed reverse, reverse rare, whatever that is, Registeel. So it's uh, Overquill and Registeel. Brilliant Star, got three packs of Brilliant Star coming up. It's a nice set, you've got a few Charizard cards in it, but also a couple of Lugia cards in it. So you got Grass Energy. I think I've given it away. Approval Pass. Friends and Galar. Electro Buzz. 
Gibbles get the end to it with Trap Bench Reverse. Gosh, you should also. King of Vegas, it's still it's a hit. It's a nice little hit. It's just a regular regular artwork one, but it's nice. Take any V card when I, when I can get one, especially when I've not had a had a decent pull for a long time. I'm not entirely sure like, if these like codes used to like, give it away. I know like the the older uh, codes, if they were white, you'd know you got something in them. I think these ones are all the same colour, so you're not you got no idea if you're ever going to actually get a hit on the pack, or if it's just going to be a regular uh, clan. Chimchar, Baltai, <coughs> Lexi, Nosepass, Snowrun, Reverse, Halucha, I get a red muck. Last one for the brilliant stars, I think. Right, Fighting Energy, Luxio, Pot Helmet. Goodbye, Duskwell, Execute, Grimer, Sneasel, Bidoof, Reverse, Dusclops. Oops, but. Uh, oh, I thought it was another card there, but it's not just a regular Cliff Fable. Now you're on a Fusion Strike. So we have Fire, Exit Drill, Dub Wool, Spongy Gloves, Toxel, Tota Dial, Bunny Weeby, Clubopus, Timo, Reverse, Copper Roger, and it's a Hollow Obstagoon. Another Fusion Strike. Ooh, there's a couple of marks on these ones. If you look at the. Uh, Around here, they're marked a little bit. I've heard that the quality control on these boxes have not been great, but uh, if you get a later one, like a later print one, you might have a better chance of getting a better quality of it. I did rush them out with as far as I'm aware. Oh, it's a hollow for alligator. This is something good. Lightning Energy, we've got a Victini, Electrive, Drive, Dunsparce, Jigglypuff, Durant, Pantia, Minim, Baltai, Reverse, Grabalock. Oh, it's a Golem. That's actually a really nice looking Golem there, to be fair. Looks like he's about to do an explosion, even though that's not part of one of his attacks. But uh, no, it's not a bad looking card there. I like that one, even though it's just a regular rare. Now we've got Evolving Skies. Now have I, I have I did have a uh, Evolving Skies booster box when it came out, so I've had a few nice hits on Evolving Skies. Uh, got a couple of I've had I've got a couple of alternative arts. Not the really expensive ones, but I've got some decent ones. So I've seen these cards before: Figure Off, Tentacruel, Fletchling, Hitmonchan, Hopip, Feebas, Reverse, Scraggy, and that's uh, a regular Drumba. Nothing too exciting. So no, we had that. We've had two. Old, we've had two character cards. We've had one regular King of V. Nothing really out of this world. I would love to get a secret rare. I've not, I've not really like pulled a, any secret rares for a long, long time. Actually, I can't even remember the last secret rare I got. Ribombi, Bagon, Scraggy. Rousey, I think maybe just Secret Rare Energy or something, like not, not, not even a brilliant one. Oh, we've got a Leafeon regular V. Still nothing too, nothing too exciting, but still something. You can always tell like, which ones are like the last ones I like, printed, because when this, when this was like originally, uh, when this set was originally done, you, they were still doing the, um, the TCG online there, uh, green and white, white codes. Uh, Dream Ball, Stormy Mountains, Baldor, Emolga, Lollipop, Appleton, Pikachu, Cutify, Puff, what the that's that's We're looking at Drumper again, the same regular rare. The last two are two. We've got a, one Vue of Voltage and one Darkness of Glaze. Darkness of Glaze is a really good set. I've already had the Charizards out of that one, though, at least once. 
so I would actually I actually wouldn't mind uh, getting the Charizards again because I've actually since uh, sold them, so I don't actually have them anymore. Oh, so what? Clefairy, Temple, Mixery, Reverse, Dignan, yeah, regular rare. Last pack. Right, I've had a couple of these, nothing, no full arts, no secret rares, nothing too amazing, so... Uh, it's not going to be anything very good either, it's a green, green code from an old set. So we'll just get to the end of this one quickly because it's not going to be anything too extravagant. Dark Rex, Turbo Patch, Spinner, Squirrel, Roulette, Suit, Thermomaga, Reverse, Parsimian, and it's a regular rare like we were already expecting. And that is the last pack. So, well, yep. But anyways, though, the, the kind of the main reason for getting these were obviously the, the three amazing looking full art Charizard cards. These is kind of what you get them for. If you do manage to get a, to get one that's got a decent centering on them, then you will like score twice. The texture on these is like unbelievable, and the amount of like detail on these cards is just insane. Like even though that one's got so much going on, it's probably the most plain out of the three because there's so much more going on in that one. You've got Mewtwo in the background there. You've got all of this like going off. It looks like a um. They call the tank tang growth for the bears a bit there. There's probably so much more that I can't even really tell. And then on this one, right there, you've got Venusaur. That's all I can really see as well. But still, you've got like so much there going on in these cards. And then you've got the V Max one, which is just. It looks like more like a like fan artwork this one than it does like, like an actual like car. It looks like someone's like trying to do like a realistic like Charizard, and this is what they come up with and they put it on the card. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but to me that's what it looks like. Anyway, though, that's it for today. If you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you if you did manage to get a uh, code, put it in the comment section and make sure you uh, open up. Let me know if you get anything. If you get anything good, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.